Oops. Good morning, everyone. A lovely Saturday morning. I'm um, sorry, haven't got any videos up in the last few days. Just been super busy. Um, it's just been one of those weeks. It's kind of is the busiest time of the year. But it's just one of those weeks where we kind of put the head down and got as much done as we could. But we will go through now in the next few videos. I have been recording all week. Um, so I will have a lot of videos to put up in a short space of time. Uh, I just didn't get time to do any editing. It was very late at night before I got in and very early in the morning when I went out. So there was no way I was going to get just time this week. But things now, have, a lot of work has been done and uh, we'll um, not be just as busy now in the next few weeks. Well, we've sailed of course, which will be coming very shortly. But anyway, so the heifers is out. Most of them are um, in calf. We kept them in the house for that while, a wee bit longer because we just wanted to get them in calf as many as possible AI'd before we put them out and that way um, uh, it's much easier. It just means you have to keep them in that bit longer but I don't mind doing that. Um, we had plenty of silage and stuff and they were doing well in the house um, but it just came to the time that we had to get them out. There was a couple of smaller ones there that we haven't just done yet. Um, I think there's just two in this batch that hasn't been done so um, they'll be done now in the next two weeks or so. Um, they're just in this paddock here, which normally be a paddock we keep for calves, but um, this would be much too strong to put calves in. We'll do these heifers here for another week or more. Uh, let them eat it down and we'll slurry it. And we'll, we'll probably top it and slurry it then. Just have a nice, nice, neat brayer of grass coming then for when the calves do come down onto it. But today we're putting the calves out, which is a great day to get the, some of them, well, most of them are going out. Um, we'll only be keeping about five they are a little bit younger yet. They just don't want to put out just yet. They're probably ready, but I just don't want to put them out yet. I'm still giving them a micro placer, and I'd like to uh, continue to do that for another week or so, and then we can we can put them out as well. So when I get home, I'm going to let them out in the yard. And uh, what we do is we let them into the silage pit, or let them into as big a yard as we possibly can, let them have a good run around, because we have calves especially intend to do is um, they run after each other when they get out. Um, it's not really playing they're doing. It's actually afraid of each other because they're not used to one another having a good old gallop because they've been in a confined kind of a space. But when they get galloping, one frightens the other. You get that kind of a chain reaction. And next thing they run through the fences and everything and that's what happens. So to alleviate that, we put them out into the yard at home and then we um, put the electric fence up across the middle of the yard then after a few, an hour or so say, uh, when they've kind of more or less settled their galloping and then let them come up, each one of them, and have a touch of the electric fence and get to know what it is and get to know that they're not supposed to touch it and um, that settles them down well. So I leave them then in the yard then for another hour with the electric fence so that they all have more or less got a couple of jabs of it and um, are staying well clear of it. So then we do put them out in the grass. They're not near as, as wild or, 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 or um, as hard to contain as they normally would be. But I hope to get them out now in the next couple of hours. I've just go here and look at a couple of other cows on this farm as well and a few little jobs to do before I get home but we'll pick it up now in a few minutes when I get home. And we'll let them have a little run around here first give them a little bit of a play so they can get used to each other and they aren't afraid to have a run about. But uh, now in a wee few minutes we're going to put up an electric fence across the yard and we're going to get the, let them all have a little jab at the electric fence so they know what it is. And uh, it's better testing it in here in a closed yard than out in the field when they're running through it. But uh, yeah, they get that galloping out of their system now in a few minutes. And they'll settle. I think that's just born a bit of energy and just get used to knowing what's around them. Oops. That's the well settled now. 
We've all got the job. So it pays to run them around the yard. They quiet them when they get out, they don't do near as much harm. They're very settled. I have my daughters lined up along the fence, just in case. Give an odd shout if, if one of them gets cheeky. That's the calves I'm talking about. So the calves are out now about um, 40 minutes or so, and they have settled well in. I'll go down a bit closer because I know the GoPro doesn't have any zoom on it and it doesn't give a great picture of where they are. So I'll go down a wee bit closer here. But um, no problems. That's the sage. Just letting them into the yard for that little... Let them run around the yard for half an hour, an hour, and letting them all get a little bit of a jab of the fencer. Um, works wonders. It makes, makes the thing a lot easier. We used to have them, before we did that, they used to come down and they'd just go through every fence you'd put up. They'd just run through it. They were through it before they knew they were through it. I hadn't even time to shock them. Now we have a new main fencer up the year, so it's very, very strong. It's lighting up every light we have on the tester. So, um, but none of them even went near it when they got out. None of them have even touched it to get a jag of this. They remembered what the white tape meant. We've never put them actually in this field before. Um, I just, I have heifers uh, grazing the bit that they'd normally be in, um, as I was showing you there earlier on, but quite heavy, it's a, lot, it's a lot of grass on it, but it's fine. No other animals have been on it the year, so it'll be 100%. It's very warm at the minute, it's around about 20 degrees. I just hunt them up to where the drinker was, just to show them where the drinker was, because they were very hot. You could see them breathing heavily. They're after coming over in the trailer, so I wanted them all to get a drink uh, before I left, but they're very settled here now. 12 in this bunch, and uh, there's five more to go out. Uh, so they're not quite for another week and a half, two weeks maybe even. We'll see how they go but they're still getting a bit of milk replacer. Um, they're doing very well. They're equally as big as these, but it's just gonna give them that little bit longer. Um, there's some mixture there of, of December calves, January calves, and early February calves. So um, all done very, very well this year. We're very happy with our heifer calves. Uh, but silage now that was in front of them was very dry and with the sun, silage itself was dry coming out of the bales, but with the sun, it just left even drier again. Um, and there was no feeding quality in it at all. The only thing that was kind of keeping them going was that we were giving them a lot of meal. Um, and hopefully uh, they continue to eat their meal. Sometimes the calves get out and fill themselves with grass and not be as fussy on eating meal. So you don't want to really give them too much. There's probably an awful lot here, but we'll see what happens. We can we can bring that fence closer if we need if needs be. But um, they instantly went for the shade. They knew that three was there and they knew it as lock cooler here. We lay under this when you do it yourself. That's a big January calf there laying. There's two big January calves, um, 68 and 70. 68's a real gentle kind of a heifer calf. Um, really, really gentle type of a, an animal. Um, you can see that when they're breeding heavily. Um, they went for a little bit of a run around when they got out. And it wasn't too long before they said that I'm gonna lay down. There's not much energy to born that day. So uh, the family were all around me today. Um, I had my daughters, my wife, everybody helping me. My father was here for a while as well. And um, when you get all the help like that, make use of it.
can see there our receding around the shed isn't doing that terribly well it's all there I can see the I can see the whole grass seed on it but it's just not doing that overly well it's just too dry but lo and behold this morning we came out you'll probably see it on the lens of the camera it is raining and it is a nice rain it's a real drizzle heavy drizzle and that's the type of rain we want we don't want a big splash of of uh, downpours and um, we want something that's gonna stay on the ground a bit longer and um, but it's, it's definitely a lot cooler yes it was 20 degrees yes this guy always comes up to me here for a quick old pet but um it's, it's about 20 degrees um yesterday and um it was a lovely day for putting out these calves they were sweltering in the heat when they got out and they couldn't wait to find what the drinker was i'm just giving them a meal this morning they're all very happy there at the minute um, they're not eating a huge amount of meal that's why it's raining now at the minute so I hope they will stay at the trot and eat their meal but they're full and that's the thing when they get out on grass for a while they get full yeah, for the first day or two and then it takes a while for them to eat their meal but hopefully they will they'll get back into eating the meal because that's, that is very important that they eat enough of that that's today's video over um, we have a couple of videos coming up as I said last week was an extremely or this week as I say it's the end of the week now it's Sunday but it was an extremely busy week um, we had a lot of work on we were doing a lot of post driving a lot of putting down posts concreting down posts a lot of sowing fertilizer a lot of just organizing cattle um, just you had them kind of weeks where you just had to put the head down and get to it we have a lot of posts in at the minute as well there'll be a video on that um, very soon uh, I have a video of me put concrete in all these posts and how we put in our concrete posts or how we concrete them in I should say um, the extra things is here at the moment but we'll do that in a separate video I might I'll get this video up hopefully today which is Sunday and um, then tomorrow evening I'm gonna work on the next video and I'm hoping to get three videos up this week um, Tuesday Thursday and probably again on Sunday I just have to sit down um, and edit them and put them up, post them up. That's all I have to do. Um, I was recording all the time, it was just I didn't get time in the evenings to, because of this week especially, been so busy, I didn't get time just to finish off things. But um, look at, until the next one folks, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so. Hit that little bell on the right hand corner, it'll notify you when um, our videos are up. Um, also, give us a like, very important, um, like our videos, shows your support. And um, until the next one, we catch you again.